Dr. Bell Jr. Man, it's so good to see you kids today, and I'm so grateful that you're here and you're tuning in. Now, I've got two things that are going to be happening today, two things we're going to announce. First is this. I've got somebody new that I want you to meet. His name is Pastor Caleb. He's our new children's pastor here at Clint Community Church. So, Pastor Caleb, come on, and he's going to be the one that's with you each and every week from now on, and he's got something that he wants to talk to you about. So, Pastor Caleb, take it away. Hey guys, right now, today, we're about to start our brand new series on Community Garden. We're going to talk about what it's like to thank God for everything. I'm Pastor Caleb. I can't wait to see you guys more. family and I have been working in a super fun community garden down the street. We get to go every weekend to help in the garden. This time we're picking the yummy food from the garden. My dad's favorite is carrots. My cousin loves watermelon. My uncle helps in the garden sometimes too. And his favorite thing to eat is corn on the cob. I love working in the garden with my family. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Growing fresh food to eat, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. My family and I have been helping in the community garden. It's so fun. Working with your family is great. It's true. I know another family who helped each other too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. That 
was so good, Stormy Jane. Oh, you want a treat too? <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. My uncle just gave me a yummy carrot from his garden. It was so good. It was such a special treat. We love treats, don't we, Stormy Jane? <laughs> my uncle loves to take care of us with things from his garden. I'm so thankful for my family. In fact, that reminds me of a story. This is Naomi. Does she look happy or sad to you? Sad, that's right. Naomi was sad because she didn't have any family. Her husband and sons had died and she was all alone. So she decided to go back to the town where she grew up. But look, it's Ruth. Ruth was married to Naomi's son. Ruth said, I'll go with you, Naomi. I'll be your family. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. God gave Naomi family to help her. Thank you, God. Can you say that with me? Thank you, God. So Naomi and Ruth walked together all the way to town where Naomi used to live. When they got there, Naomi and Ruth were hungry, but they didn't have any money to buy food. So Ruth went to see if she could find something for them to eat. Well, not far from where they lived, a man named Boaz had people working in his fields, gathering all the grain. The fields were like big gardens and the workers worked very fast. But as they went, they would leave grain on the ground behind them. Ruth saw this and began to pick up the grain from the ground to take it home to Naomi for food. Boaz saw her collecting food. When he found out that she was family, Boaz wanted to help her and make sure she had lots of good food to pick from his garden. Wow, God sent family to help Ruth and Naomi. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. When Ruth went home to Naomi with good food to eat, Naomi was so surprised and so thankful. What do you think Naomi said? That's right, she said, thank you, God. Ruth and Naomi said thank you for the family God gave them to help them. All families look different and all families can take care of each other. Thank you, God, for giving us our families. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Ruth and Naomi were thankful for their family. And we can thank God for our families, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Ruth and Naomi were thankful for the family God gave them, and we can be thankful for our families too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm super thankful for my family and can't wait to pick food from the garden for today's snack. I'll see you next time, bye! the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111.1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111.1. One.